Friday, early morning. I'm here with Gerard Williams. Can only mean one thing. What, Gerard? Let's have it. Let's have it. Roll the intro. Three parts of Stella. How are you feeling? Stella. Are you feeling confident? Definitely. Definitely. Are we feeling powerful? Up for it? Always up for it. Let's have it. Ton of scratchings, it, man. I'm going to go straight in. <laughs> Looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're all looking forward to it, lads? Oh, yes. Yes, have it. Let's have it. Def no, yeah. That's proper wrestling, that is. Lad, what's his name? Neil, Neil Fellows. Neil Fellows, this is one of his face. He's only coming for two fucking days. I don't, I don't, we didn't take, six, six of us didn't take that much when we went to France for two weeks. <laughs> well, Team Brook Fishing, we're here. Uh, Gerard's got one running watch, I've got both mine. Thank you, Gerard, because while I was messing about with my rods and deciding where he were, he'd actually seen two, two fish at distance, but in swim kind of thing when I'm allowed to be stuck so uh, he saw them and we got them on spot baited up on that and I sit on my hands with them and then uh, I put one in margin because I'm on I'm on end uh, I, are you approaching it Jess a minute one out I've well, seen I saw two fish when we got here after moving vans five times <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my head battered. Lovely place, but it's, uh, it's run like military style, uh, really strict. So, uh, I saw two fish, and you can't not put a rod on it, to be honest with you, at this time of year. My plan was not to put any lines in water, because me, I actually thought that the lake was a lot smaller than it is, but it's actually bigger than I thought, so it's kind of changed my mind a little bit. Because I was going to keep all my rods out at water and then just keep feeding like match style, just a couple of pellets every two or three minutes or something like that, just in an area, just for that sound. And because there's no lines in it, just see if I could draw them in. Because we're at Backer and Easterly here. Uh, so I think with this sun up as well, I think they'll get up this end where we are. Awesome. I wouldn't like to be over there in that east, in that wind over there. Uh, I think it's just too cold for them, to be honest with you. Uh, so plan is, I've got one rod on where I saw the two fish show. I, I went straight over to Roy next to him and told Roy, so get one out there, mate. So we marked it all up uh, and took rod out. And then basically, I'm just going to stick to my guns and I'm just going to feed pellet, 11mm uh, pellet, sweet catty. And I'm just going to keep feeding it every, every so often, just one or two pellets. I'm going to leave rods out for a couple of hours. And then just drop on it 
whether it works, it works, whether it don't, it don't. I but think, I think we'll have a nice glass of wine or something, Jess, aren't we? Because it's been a bit stressful, hasn't it? It's been very stressful this morning, mate. It's been like being in the military. Yeah. I've never known anybody as strict. I can't believe we had to line up single file. <laughs> and march. <laughs> and march till <to> Dipper's <laughs> Nets. <laughs> Jess, something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, mate. This morning when I come on, uh, Rare for you, we weren't up and I was knocking on the door and everything, it took you a bit and that. Uh, what was that all about? What happened? I was a bit in turmoil, mate, because I went to bed early because I knew we were coming to this charity event and stuff like that. Went to sleep or eight, slept or eight, blah, blah, but I woke up and my bedroom was just full of eggs. And I was like, yeah, full of eggs, yeah. I thought I'd overlaid. <laughs> No, do you know what I mean? I thought I got the lid, mate. I was just one rain. And then you, then you, you were with me, and I was like, shot, <laughs> shot through to bits in your bud. I could, if only the is any chance of, I could do me a paper, so I said, yeah, right, no problem. So I made you a coffee, I went down to the paper shop, and I blown away. It <laughs> <laughs> was a bad morning, Bobby. It was a bad morning. <laughs> An update. First night, <clears throat> three o'clock in the morning. Just been out for a piss. It's absolutely freezing. Baltic. Baltic. I fished out in some cold weather and it, it, it's absolutely freezing. Uh, been, been no fish caught to my knowledge. Uh, I mean, some other lads might have caught one we're on all different lakes but uh, on stretch here where I know being non caught no bleeps no no I've not seen any fish sure since I've been here really cold uh, not making excuses it is what it is might be able to pinch one uh, I think if all gets caught on all session we're here on, on all lakes and all amongst people it's here I think it might only be two three fish what come out all weekend if we're lucky uh, I don't mean me I'm on about everybody uh, I just hope I'm wondering what might be lucky enough to catch one but it's absolutely freezing and, I, and I've got all right gear and I've got so many layers on it's unbelievable I've got a vest uh, start off with fer thermal t-shirt a vest sorry thermal t-shirt uh, uh, I, I like a uh, Regret a top, if I'm saying word right, what's like another bit of thermal and thing. Then my Nash, uh, I've got on here, which is uh, zero tolerance, laid with all them on, so that's quite a few layers. Then I've got my thermal bottoms on, then tracksuit bottom, walk up with absolutely freezing, got another tracksuit bottom on, so I've now got two on, that has old, in fairness. I had to sleep with my hat on. I've got a brilliant sleep system, but normally not have a problem with. Uh, I've got it all on, but still, still, still feeling cold in air on my face and stuff. Body's not so bad when I'm wrapped under all baby and that, but outside it's freezing. Right, rabbiting on too much. Really, really cold. Me and wind is horrific. It's not raining, but it's it's absolutely blowing a eight gale. It, 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 cold weather. Wind's blowing like no one, I don't know if you can hear it on this bit, it's, re it's really going some. So, uh, yeah, that's your update. We're... Morning everyone watching. Good morning. Seeing about fishing. Oh, no. Yeah, we when my pal has come over, just doing my coffee, he's having another one to come round. So, uh, what are you thinking about up to now? 
fucking Baltic. I cold is it? I said that ain't neat on the video. Fuck it. I've got icicles hanging for my balls this morning. <laughs> I'm going to say we're fishing snow and thing, and for me, it's been a this long time cold. since I've been that cold. It, 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 cold. Um, Colder than being in snow. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was bad, weren't it? No, no, it's been cut, has it? Yeah. Not, not what I've seen, I don't know. There's plenty of us on this lake, it's rammed with, yeah. with group, and nobody's had out. Nobody, nobody's had runs, bleeps, or out. It's, it's just not making excuses, but anybody knows fishing when when it's this bad, and against you, we're up against it. It'd be nice if somebody pinches something, but that's how it is. Just got Keckel going on. See how we go. We, we're done. Yeah, see how it is. We're going to go for some breakfast in a minute, which is all part of the social, which is in. Yeah, Julian comes here. Yeah, Julian yeah, comes to a barbecue later. So keep watching. I know it's a bit, not no fish yet, but like I said, Julian comes coming and that. So keep watching, team up fishing. We'll keep you updated. Very, very cold social. together so when people talk about rigs or baits uh, everything's got to work together so you might have the best rig in the world best bait in the world but if you if it's not in the right place at the right time it's a waste of time so when I do my talks I tend to cover everything and rigs are just part of it um, Talked, I, I tend to call it from uh, butt rest to hook bait because you can get nine tenths right. I, I was originally down to do carp rigs, but as I said, carp rigs, it's just part, as I hope I've got over to you now, rigs is just part of the big picture. Uh, yeah, as that gentleman spotted earlier, you get all that right, and then just because you've got your leads wrong, it, 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 you've lost the fish of a lifetime. Rigs is a two-part thing. There's end tackle and there's presentation. The end tackle I've already covered. That's that's the end tackle. The rig is the, is what I call the presentation. The bit between the hook length swivel and the hook bait. Years ago, when I started carp fishing, I always used pop-ups because I had to use pop-ups because every water we fished of our part of the world had weed. What is the one thing that has to, that is an imperative of carp fishing rigs? The hook has to go into the carp's mouth. The hook has to stay in the carp's mouth for you to get a bite and land the fish. And I used to say all this rubbish about, um, oh yeah, what an outdated situation that is. The carp will see the hook off the bottom. What a load of rubbish. The only reason I fish pop-ups is so that the hook point is able to go in the carp's mouth. If I was fishing a clean bottom like that, that's great. But every single video you see of fishing, or sorry, every single picture you saw in the older days of fishing, the bottom was totally clear, absolutely clear. Nothing on the bottom. So when you put the bottom bait on there with the hook red, red, red on the bottom, it looked great. But when you put the pop-up off the bottom, it looks stupid. That's because the, the lake bed doesn't look like that. 99% of lake beds have bits of weed, bits of silt, bits of crap, or lots of weed, lots of silt, lots of crap. Once your hook is on the bottom, it is ineffective if it's got any weed on it at all. When I started fishing the tylery, which was a weedy water, I noticed that the guys who fish bottom baits got bites quickly, and if they got a bite quickly, they often landed it. But if they'd been fishing for more than an hour and got a run, loads of time, they get run, play the fish, and it'd bump off. And I thought that's really strange. What was happening is, when your hook's on the bottom, what do you think carp do when they move round? They create disturbance. What does disturbance do? It moves the weed and the silt. And as soon as that weed and silt goes across your hook point, it's game over. You will get takes and you will bump fish off. But if your hook point has got anything on the top of it, it is not effective. So what that, uh, that, that is, that I would say is the is how I fish the majority of my pop-ups. That is, when you put it on here, it looks dead obvious. But I've never fished on top of a, a, a top like that. If the, wa if the water was gin clear and it was 
totally flat i would probably fish it on the bottom but what happens is any weed gets over that and you've lost the effectiveness of the hook point your hook point is all important so that is what i use for the majority of my situations the that is the team book fishing latest update second morning uh no through night no through morning nobody's cut no we've been down and had uh a breakfast what we've done on a barbecue we would have provided all part of charity that's in on price you paid that were good then uh, what's been brilliant is julian kundish come along and done a presentation and a talk uh, so that was good to see him again and have a chat to him and always learning nice to see what he tells you about things so learning stuff full time now we're uh, back in it's uh, eight past one just got rods back out i've changed my tactics uh, i've uh, i'm just just fishing a little uh, PVA bag. See how, see how we go with that. See if we can catch them. Very little. Uh, just, just fishing for a bit because it's like proper winter conditions and uh, it's not fish off. So I'm hoping for just that one, just enough for that one fish to have a little bit of pellets around it. So that bait I've got on, up and hopefully catch a fish. See how we go on. Team book fishing. Keep you updated. All right, team broke. Little update. Just come round to Gerard swim. What are you thinking, Jess? Well, there's not much been happening, but we've had rods out like three hours because uh, fair play to Julian Cundiff. Uh, he's just been down and done a, a, a talk, a demo, whatever you want it to call it. Really interesting, going back from 80s through to modern day. I think everybody really enjoyed it. What do you think? Yeah, like? I did. Yeah, and to be honest, Jez, we're always learning. I, I, I never ever class myself in your league, and then there's leagues and leagues. You know yeah, what I mean? Not, but I there are, no, I know it's not. But I'm just you asking me about that with you and kind yeah. of, and and I learned so much from that little thing what he were doing, and what I did love because I'm a bit old school. But just some of what he did, when I thought, well, I like that, and that's I'm, I'm still I, a bit I that like way. Because he brings it back where he puts his bank stick behind his reel and yeah, yeah. just his old catapult and stuff like that. Mm. He just brings it home that you don't need old best gear no, no, to catch no, fish. No, you don't. And, and you we, we lose his way. Cart fishing for me, I've once said it before, which is not wrong with. It's turned into this day and age a bit fashion, and, 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 and we all get involved in it. Because I said I never would, but I have myself, and we all get fucking rod pods if it's one better you get it and things. And, and Julian just fishes with fucking normal ones. Singles, don't, yeah, yeah, you don't have fucking rod pods and different things. And he's right, but because of the situation today, and we can get such quality rods at right price and everything, we do change his rods quick. He's right, everybody's. It's, and, and, and why do we do it? Like he says, it's just. Because we can't. Yeah, yeah. We come back in there. Rods were so fucking dear. They were for life. They were so expensive. Your first set of cart rods lasted years, didn't it? I mean, it's certain lakes that we go, yeah, like Julian, I am affiliated with Nash and things like that, but I don't go for all best gear. Look, I use my yeah, six yeah. foot dwarf, yeah, don't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot. Do. So it's not all about that. No. It's just that end bit. It's just the end bit and using your eyes and being in the mm. right spot. You could use thousand pound rod, thousand pound reels, but if you're not in that right spot, you ain't going to yeah, catch yeah, any fish. So and, and there's no that. wrong we're not knocking anybody that spends a lot of money on on because it's got that way now yeah and we're all involved me me too i've, I've jumped on band we're gonna can't help it but i'm like fucking since christmas wherever i've got a lot of matching you know what i mean yeah. and i'm like fucking i've got scopes and I got this and, I and and i can't wait to get yeah, me you blamed it on me yeah it, yeah because it, <laughs> well yeah big blame influence you and that and you just a bit now nah, nah, and and i can't wait to get what new rods in this stand of a so so i can't i can't do it so we all we all get part of that it all happens all good but I've just said it, and you're saying similar things, Jez. We just had a little talk before I started filming. It's been absolutely Baltic and freezing, but I've got a feeling today is a little bit different. Well, we might nick some. I've got a funny feeling. I mean, yesterday we had a different day altogether yesterday um, with weather. Sun's come out today, yet it's still an easterly, yet it is still cold. With that bit of sun on it, it it's, it's standard depth all over this lake, I think, which I think depths are probably from five foot to seven foot. Correct me wrong if correct me right if I am wrong, but I've felt let down and that's my guesstimate, yeah. realistically. So that little bit of sun just coming up on back of that easterly, I think it I'm not saying it's gonna get them moving, but they might just feel a little bit of that warmth on the back yep. and it might add to them moving a little bit. Plus Right, we're gonna have a little talk, me and Jez, because we we share this and we've had some fantastic talks about this and one of the things what got us really good friend when we first met years ago on Trenville. Uh, this charity one of it, what it's about is uh, mental health and 
Tell them what scores is. Well, scores. it's uh, it's on track, on track, like charity event, that's what we call it, on track fishing. Um, and basically it's for disabled kids, um, veterans who's like partially blind and also for, for mentally ill. So it's a fantastic charity and it's like what I said, it does mean something to us because obviously everybody gives it, everybody says, oh, you're playing up mental health one, you're playing up mental health thing. Until you've actually got it, yeah, you don't you don't, nobody understands. And when you've actually been rock bottom, that's when you, you actually know. And that's why I said with this charity, it means so. It meant so much for us yeah. to actually be part of it. It does because obviously we do suffer with yeah, it. Yeah. Touch wood. Luckily, I'm coming through it a bit now, and yeah. new job and things like that, and new lifestyle, and I've, I've actually come off my tablet. So the, 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 there is a positive in every negative. But for people suffering, right, it's, it's yeah, horrible, it's mate, isn't it? But like, such as myself, I can only speak for myself. I know Jed Addy gives you his bit. We met through that, we got talking that, we've been best friends ever since. Been really close with each other, makes us a really good friend because we, we both understand that side of it. And uh, before Christmas, a few months before Christmas, I've been alright for a bit, I had my spells. I suffered with so many panic attacks, I don't know where they come from. Anybody out there what knows what I'm on about, they're horrible. You feel like you're going to die. Well, you phone me up, uh, yeah, hundreds of times. Yeah, yeah. You and, and that's what I've just tried to get you through so it. So it's not just about fishing. When you get them friends, what they're for you, what no and all, it's brilliant. And we've been there for each other. And Gerard really worked it for me, Christmas, in a big way. And it really helped. And, and my missus, Dawn, she will, she were family and friends. And it meant a lot to me because I really were in a bad place. I, 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 I did some silly things. I'm not proud of what can happen with mental health. And I kept at it because I know it'll always eventually get itself far. So anybody what does suffer with that. Do you know what I mean? Don't ever do something too stupid because it will come again. In storm, the sun will always come back out. Do you know what I mean? And now I'm feeling good and this helps me. Outside, countryside, such a great event. Catching the bonus if we don't. Being with fantastic friends and people and meeting new friends such as South Oak Storm. It, fantastic, get out of here and, and do it. And it is close to us all. And, and, and we don't talk about and, it, won't you? And I think one of the main points of Team Brook Fishing is that we're yeah, we are a group of lads who goes fishing and has suffered with various types of mental health, but we try and come across as natural as we can and talk about it, but we're always here as a team for people who suffer with mental health and we've always said a million times, if you are suffering and you, you want to come fishing and you ain't got no tackle, get in touch with me, get in touch with Roy, and you can come with us because it, it's all about, it's all about getting, sorry, that's just my phone. <laughs> it's, all, it's all about getting out there and experiencing what, what we experience when we're out fishing, isn't it, Roy? Yeah, countryside and walking and fishing, all like that for me, and you've said same. I think it Walking so much. Massive. Getting get away from your house and your everyday problems, what's probably causing it. Getting away, out in it, countryside, with friends, having a laugh. Can't beat the Bond you get is, is for life. Brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. I mean, I, like I said, out of a negative always comes a positive because yeah, yeah. that negative brought us together. Yeah. And we've, well. Yeah, and, and we, we've also got to laugh about it, you know, because not saying it's funny, one of the lads who's come with mental health is very, really bad. And he come in, he's, he's, he's just going to fishing, and uh, anyway, he opened his bag up and he put his golf clubs in. If he got to fish his fishing gear. So that's how it can happen, you know what I mean? Obviously, that's just a joke to get, to, yeah. get, to be on the lighter side of things. But that's what we do, we joke, we, we have a laugh for each other, and that laughing by the way, is one of the best things as well. That really... It's, it's, a, it's a recipe. Really it's a free recipe for it happiness. It's from God, that, that laughing, that sense of humour, having a bit of fun, and that is what it's done. So some of our videos, you'll see things, and some people watch Talk Straight, say, oh, what about that? He had a drink or whatever, because we've had previous things, and uh, most are brilliant, but you get you can get odd negative comment. And what you don't realise, you don't know that person's story. Do you know what I mean? So that person who's having a drink, or if any is having a drink, we're all there for them. They're not going to do old danger, it's not going to fall in water. We've all got each other's back. And it, it, it's, it, it could be his birthday, it could be something, it could be whatever it's about, but we're watching them. We're not having a laugh and letting anybody have any danger at all. So we yeah, do have it's not like, not like we're doing it to stitch them up. We're yeah, doing yeah, it yeah, because yeah. If, they, if they want to do it, I mean, some of them, they come fishing with us and they don't even bring the fishing gear. They, they, they pay for it, like the wall fishing, they'd hire a lodge or they pay for the peg. 
and they're not even fishing but because their mental state is not what it should be they yeah. just want to come with us yeah. Yeah. and they openly say i just want to be with you i want to have a drink get out of house and i mean it's not all about drinking but no but except for drinking sorry gerard yeah i have to get this across i'm not mentioning names of that but some of the people's been with us you'll be judged with drinking but you don't realize where they've been in the past and how far forward you've come by just drinking because hey, a lot of things out there a lot very worse good point, that, right? so it's personal i can't say what it is but just for instance you might have somebody called tom or something and he might have been on on something really bad drugs whatever and he's come a long way with his mental health and getting better and then he's weaned his sent off on to drink so there's always something better than others mate somebody who don't drink might go look at him piss it on bankside you should take fishing seriously shouldn't be drinking so so be aware of that on our videos because what happens on bankside we keep it on we keep it we real. keep it real we have a laugh there'll be some swearing now and again we don't mean it there'll be some jokes we hope people don't take to heart you know what i mean all right get our jokes with circus because he's little we don't call him a midget well don't be embellished on it Gerard, do you know what i mean and that, that's how it is but what we are i might be getting is, signed back up now to a, a circular yeah, whatever they call think it this way is what you're gonna be happy to eat as palo who's uh, filming it now he's smaller than you i know it's like that fishing with umpa lumpers he's actually you know I mean? he's actually stood on the tripod filming this <laughs> <laughs> team rock fishing we're always here if you need us for getting all getting special mental health come and fish with us morning everyone last day last morning Set my alarm early, half uh, past five, to see if we can see any fish. It's not really seen them showing fish, just to try and nick one in the last few hours, uh, like you do, if you can. Uh, but then it's not seen no showing fish, and as you can probably hear in the river, it's absolutely bouncing it down. It's rained all night, wind's been horrific, it's freezing cold, proper winter weather at the moment. It was mild a few weeks ago, but we, we fall for bad weather, it's cold. To my knowledge, no one at all groups cutting it on lakes uh, as yet still a few hours left uh, i think we pack up at eight nine ten or something uh six o'clock few hours left you never know this many people fishing somebody could pull one out but not looking good uh, i hope you still enjoy the video and uh, i don't know what's gonna happen with with prizes and uh, things for first second and third because i can say up to now not this out, uh, if they do, I'll let you know. Well, it's on time, nine o'clock. We've just got everything in the van. Uh, sum it up, Gerard, the trip. It's, well, for the last two days, we've said hard, and it has been hard, but weather's been against us. That's March fishing, that's winter fishing for you. But there's not one fish being out at our lake. Nobody's had a bleep, nobody's had a knock, nobody's had nothing out at our lake, Oaks, I thought Lake, I think. I've tried everything, uh, different spots. We all have. We have all tried different tactics. All different tried spots. There's a lot of lakes up and uh, I think one fish has come out. One fish has come out. Fifteen pound out of two lakes. Fifteen pound out of two lakes. So we filled it all up. Some serious anglers on here. Uh, some some quality anglers. Yeah, there? very good anglers, mate. Uh, very good. We anglers. also got sonar out, didn't we? And to really kill us yesterday, we sent you all in our swim and we couldn't even find one fucking fish. <laughs> and we spent forever doing we it. So. it of, we sent you over four swim. <laughs> we sent you all four swim and we couldn't, we couldn't even find a roach. <laughs> we couldn't find a carp. <laughs> so that, that disheartened you. But we had a better sleep last night. Uh, well, that passed out about six yeah, o'clock, yeah. didn't it? But anyway, we live and learn. And, live and, and learn, we've enjoyed real it. Real fishing, real fishing. So a lot of people go out here, uh, maybe people are starting up or been going a bit and you're blank and disheartened. The best are the best, not saying I'm the best, but there's a lot of good anglers on here. A lot of good anglers. Yourself. All you see is on videos and things like that is people catching and you've got to be realistic because that doesn't happen. Yeah. That does not happen, no. choose whoever you are. We try and keep it real. So yeah. if we blank, we, we blank. We put it on and we still look video. That's, that's it. And that's another good point, Roy. Don't follow the hype. Do not follow the hype. Do your own thing when you're going out fishing because then, even if you do blank, you feel more more positive about you've done it than trying to follow somebody else yeah, and you're not doing yeah, it right yeah just do your own thing we, we blank we well it's i must admit it isn't very often that we blank right when very, we, when very we rare you do, just to be honest but do uh, you know what i mean but 
I started off to a blind at the beginning of the year, I think you've had some good fish and I were on a roll and I just thought you would have carried on here with some big fish and I got excited, but weren't to be. Not meant to be, but onwards and upwards, yep. on to the next one. Yep. Uh, we've got some, we've got uh, Trent View, we're going to be doing some filming next month with my good friend Ian, who runs it down there, that's next month. Then we've got a lot of events in March, we've Char got charity, charity events, Ledger Lakes, Ledger Lakes, Lakes get everybody on 18th, that. we've got filming up at that. Nuddock Wood. Yep. Um, so we've got loads some of... Some good ones coming this year, isn't there? Yeah, some good ones coming, mate, yeah. So stay with us. If you haven't already subscribed, please, it takes a minute, just subscribe. It don't cost you nothing. It you nothing, and it means a lot to us. Subscribe, like, if you can, share. Thank you very much, Tingle Fishing.